In this video, I will be demonstrating a neck routine for pregnancy massage with the client in an inclined position on a wedge pillow. You can see that the client is lying on a wedge pillow or bolster. This ensures the client is in a seated position throughout this neck routine as she's pregnant. First, I'm going to do some gentle stripping and then tractioning. Um, first stripping of the erectors and then using my hands to roll the head and hold the head. Really kind of a tractioning and occipital uh, focused work there to start off with. Then focusing on one side first, you're going to open up the anterior neck with some broad myofascial stretching type kind of strokes, opening up the area with more of a broad full hand, full fingers. Once that is accomplished, you can go in more specifically with one finger or the index finger in this case, looking for the attachments onto the first ribs right underneath the clavicle, the scalenes and SCM there. And I want you to take note of the hand that's uh, not being, not the working hand, but the holding hand. It's has a very specific cradle hold of the head there. And I'm really using that hold for the entire neck routine you see here. And it gives me just ultimate control of the head. I can roll the head back and forth. I can stretch the head as I'm working, but that allows me to have complete control over the pressure that I'm applying because I can move the head in the neck away from my thumb and then towards my thumb increasing pressure. And then now I'm going to focus on the occipital ridge again. This is a C curve using all the fingers. The C curve allows me to wrap right around the edge of the occipital ridge there. You can see that curve. And so some gentle circles, um, really just finding the ridge and working all those uh, attachments superficially and deep. And then you can work your way up into the cranium and the muscles of the scalp and to the temporalis. It's important to open up uh, all of that. It definitely affects the head and neck as well. And then just some nice transitional strokes, just light traction again and onto the other side. So starting again with broader opening strokes, feel that fascial uh, stroke stretching and opening up the area. And then once you've done that, you can get more specific. Uh, use index fingers to find attachment sites of the anterior neck muscles, the scalenes, the SCM, um, working the trapezius here as well as the supraspinatus underneath with the thumb side and then back to the index finger with the anterior side there. Again, that cradle hand underneath the head really gives ultimate control to be able to do all of this kind of rocking you see of the head. Again, this is that C-curve technique of the fingers around the occiput. And then now as I'm using the hand flat on the wedge bolster and the thumb underneath, I can use the control I have with the other hand to roll the head back and forth on and off the thumb uh, to apply very specific and controlled pressure into the lamina groove of I, as I work my way up and strip towards the occiput. And then focusing on the occipital ridge again, opening that up nicely, moving into the muscles of the cranium and the scalp and the temporalis there once again. And so just finishing off here again, nice stretching, nice elongating, some gentle traction, cradling the occiput, effective way to work the pregnant woman's neck. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm excited about my upcoming videos. 
So check back in soon for more content to help you on your professional journey. This video is part of my pregnancy massage series. So if you felt inspired by this video, be sure to check out the rest of the series coming out soon. Remember to like and subscribe as well. The Business of Massage is here to help motivate, educate, and equip you to better serve others. And I'll see you next time.